Ju-ju-ju-sti- Juice-ya? Dude just can't even spell juice. So, I originally recorded while recorded some audio while playing the game, but of course it decided not to work, so I'm going to have to do it after. This is kind of my third garage. It's got uh, just random vehicles in it. There's a hot rod in the front, some SUVs. This one's got six wheels, so that's cool. I like doing the matte pearlescent paint jobs. It's kind of an exploit that you'd have to YouTube. Matt Pearl. This little thing here, some for some reason reminds me of the Gremlins. I, I don't know why. But it's got side exhaust, and that's cool. That garage has just a couple, like a van and a couple other loser cars. Go to one of the better garages. I'd call it my number two. Get the sweet side exhaust showing. This is the first time I've driven in a while, or even played the game in a while. I was just excited to check out the update. Looks like a whole bunch of expensive stuff. A little rusty on the drive-in, though. Gotta get into racing. It's where it really you can really make some money. So this is the number two garage, and again, there's lots of different classes of vehicles, so you gotta have one of every kind. Classic car, this is one of the early speed, or supercars. Muscle car, motorcycle, a coupe, SUV, an SUV for more off-road type races, and a cool classic muscle car. Corvettes, because I like Corvettes. This one has side exhaust, so take it to the other place. It's got the matte pearl paint job again. Of course, it's been night every time we come out, so you can't really see the matte pearl shine. Doing the boost there. You do uh, in a rear-wheel drive car. You just tap the br the e-brake and get on the gas. Get off the gas. Tap the e-brake. Get back on as fast as you can. This car will do it no problem. You can just hear the revs bouncing off the tack. Probably see it here. As you can just see the revs bouncing. The car just basically stands up and wants to go. That blower does not make driving easy. It's 
Should have stuck with it. Now for the main garage. This first one is the Dinka Jester. It's probably one of my favorite cars in the game. It's all-wheel drive, corners super fast. It's a sports, but it'll almost keep up with the supers. This one reminds the Z-Type reminds me of Corella Deville. Also, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. This one's like an old Jag or Ferrari maybe. The engines in the back. It's cool. Matte pearlescent paint job on most of these cars. This one's kind of a new Ferrari. It's a convertible. So that's pretty neat. And again, I just really like the matte pearl paint job, especially on that old car there. It kind of looks like cotton candy. This one's like a limo. It's armored, but not as much as the Karuma. The windows, at least, aren't as armored. But it has more, uh, side protection. So it'll take two explosives, where the Karuma only takes one. Mas Masakro, or something like that. It's a rear-wheel rear drive sports car that's pretty fast. People say it's better than the Jester. But I think the Jester's more controllable. That's just an old, or a fast, four-person car. And then this is in Torno, is my favorite supercar. It was the fastest for a while, but there's new ones out now. I kind of modeled it after the Packers, green and gold. And I'm pretty excited to show off my cars, because no one plays with me anymore. Of course, nighttime again. Matte Pearl paint job, underglow. Pretty much my dream car. I think it's based on the Lamborghini Aventador. And it sticks to the ground. Oh, hold on. There's a little boost out of there. Oh, buddy. Staying on the gas is your best bet. I think I misjudged this turn coming up here. Break a little early because that car. And then hit it. Terrible. Ooh. Clip the pole. Trying to show off and drift too much. Well, thanks for watching.